One of the most important things in Call of Duty Warzone are contracts, but what exactly are they? How do you get them? Well, today we're going to talk about it. Asafa, this is Laserboard and welcome to today's video guys. Today we're going to be talking about contracts. Now, contracts are not something you guys are familiar with with Battle Royales, but today we're going to be talking about what exactly are they? What do they reward? Where can you pick them up? How are they going to be marked on the map? And different stuff of uh, uh, payout levels that you could get for specific contracts. So let's go ahead and talk about them. So with all that being said, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. But I do have a question for you guys. What is the best way of transportation in a battle royale? Is it land vehicle, water vehicle, or air vehicle? Let me know in the comment section down below. As a friendly reminder, guys, we will be streaming a lot of Call of Duty Warzone on Twitch. So if you guys haven't checked this out on Twitch, the link is down below in the description. We will be streaming on release date and further on. So make sure you guys hit us with the follow. Once again, the link is down below. So what exactly are contracts in Call of Duty Warzone? Well, contracts are pretty much mini missions that you're able to do while you're playing battle royale. And these are actually going to be extremely important for various reasons, which I'll go into a little bit more in detail. Now, contracts are going to be scattered throughout every section of the map. There are going to be certain locations that are going to reward certain contracts. There are going to be other locations that are going to be more specific to particular contracts. We do know that there is a resupply contract. We do know that there is an assassination contract that which will ask you to kill a specific person uh, from in the map. There is other multiple contracts available and all these contracts will be scattered throughout the entire map. Now picking up a contract is actually going to be extremely productive because it's going to give you a really good reward. But the first thing you want to do of course is pick up the contract. Once you pick up the contract there is going to be a yellow marker that's going to be highlighted within your map letting you guys know where that contract is. So for example if you have a resupply contract it's going to tell you to go to certain locations to resupply your inventory. Now there are going to be multiple locations for this resupply section but you will need to get each resupply to complete that contract if you have the contract to actually assassinate a certain person from in the world it's going to highlight that person where they're located within the map as well so there's a lot of really cool things with contracts but what exactly is the point of actually doing a contract because you might say like you know i'm playing battle royale the reason i'm playing is is because i just want to go and kill people but what exactly is the benefit of actually doing a contract well, the benefit of the contract is you're going to be rewarded with three different things. You're going to be rewarded with XP, which is always going to be pretty good because it's going to help you level up. You're going to be rewarded with Plunder, which is another really good thing because not only is Plunder going to allow you to level up because you can convert Plunder into XP. Or you could use that Plunder to buy either a kill streak, a revive, or to, you know, like I said, use the Plunder for XP. In addition to that, it's also going to reward you for weapon XP. So if you're trying to level up a weapon, if you're trying to get a really good weapon, but, you know, you need to level it up, you need to get a scope, you need to get a mag, the best way to actually do it is by doing contracts. In addition to that is that contracts are actually carried throughout the team. So, for example, if you're playing in a team of four and all of you guys drop in and only one person does the contract, everybody's going to get the XP everybody's going to get the plunder and everybody's going to get the weapon xp which makes it beneficial for you guys to do multiple contracts if you can possibly within a team now if that wasn't enough we also get different payout levels so the more contracts you do the higher your payout level is going to be so let's say you do like 10 contracts and then you do 20 30 your payout level is going to be increasing there's level one level two level three so every time you do a contract and the more contracts you do the higher the payout level is. So the more XP you're going to be getting, the more plunder you'll be getting, and the more weapon XP you're going to be getting. This actually might be the fastest way to actually level up in Call of Duty Warzone. Like right now, we don't know because we'll have to test this in game, but of course you guys can be 100% confident that once we find out the fastest way to level up in Call of Duty Warzone, you're going to be able to find the video here first on this channel. So make sure you guys subscribe to make sure you don't miss a beat. And there you guys have it. That is exactly how contracts work in Call of Duty Warzone. We're extremely hyped because the release is coming really, really soon. So I hope you guys are as hyped as I am. Let me know what you guys think of contracts. Do you guys feel contracts should be part of the game or should they just like do away with contracts? Let me know all that in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check us out over on Twitch. And I will catch you guys on the next video.